Norma occipitalis, which is posterior view <coughs> of the skull. When we look to the skull from behind, what are the bones forming the norma occipitalis? First of all, two parietal bones. Posterior to the parietal bone, there is occipital bone. This part of occipital bone is flat. And as usual, it is called a squamous part of occipital bone. And uh, we can look also for this part of temporal bone. This part of temporal bone, which is descend downward, like the nibble, process like the nibble. Therefore, it is called mastoid part of temporal bone. Frontal, occipital, and mastoid part of temporal bones. What are the sutures? As usual, the two parietal bones meet in the middle line. Meet in the middle line to form sagittal suture. And the two parietal bones meet with occipital bone at lambdoid suture. As we said in the form verticals. The new is the meeting between mastoid part of temporal bone and occipital bone, there is a suture. The suture between and the point of meeting, the area of meeting and the line of meeting between mastoid and occipital is called occipital mastoid suture. Occipital mastoid suture. The meeting between mastoid part of timber and occipital. This suture line is called Occipital mastoid suture. What are the foramina seen in this view? As we said in norma verticalis, we can see two openings on both sides of sagittal suture in the parietal bone called parietal emissary foramina. And we can see very small, very small opening at the posterior end of mastoid part of temporal bone called mastoid emissary foramen. Mastoid emissary foramen. Here, very small opening at the posterior part of mastoid bone, called mastoid emissary foramen. And this is the mastoid emissary foramen for passage of mastoid emissary vein. Um, the occipital bone show important feature in this view, which is elevation in the middle line called the external occipital protuberance. External occipital protuberance in the middle line. The most prominent point. The most prominent point in external occipital protuberance is called inion. 
ان يون سموس برومنانت بوينت اون ذا اوكسيبيتال بروتوبرانس فروم ذا اكسترنال اوكسيبيتال بروتوبرانس اكستند لاترالي تو لاينز تو لاينز ار كولد سوبيريور نيوكال لاينز Subirur nucal lines. From the external occipital protuberance, descend downward. An elevated line. We all know from anatomy, any elevated line is called crest. Therefore, this crest, this elevated line is called external occipital. Crest. From the middle of the external occipital crest, extend laterally on both sides, inferior nucal lines. Inferior nucal lines. Therefore, the squamous part of temporal bone show external occipital protuberance. From the external occipital protuberance, descend downward, external occipital crest. From the external occipital protuberance, extend superior mucal lines. From the middle of the external occipital crest, extend inferior mucal lines. These are the important features of norma occipitalis.